Hello, thank you, thank you for joining me. Hey, see, this, this is, um, say, I was going to say, this is the second video in our series on uh, doing a walkthrough in Revit. As I mentioned before, Revit, uh, the, the walkthroughs in Revit is a very, very good way of uh, uh, making a presentation of your model. And uh, it's, it provides you as a designer the ability to walk through your model and see what might uh, need to be changed, uh, things you might want to enhance, walls that might be removed or moved or removed even, and some other things. But when you're finally done with your project, it's a very good presentation tool, which you'll learn next week when you put in your or, or present your dream house uh, presentations, your model presentation. So enough said there. Let's go ahead and make modifications to this. What I like to do is make horizontal modifications to our camera and path. So right now I'm in my uh, basement plan. I'm going to right click on my walkthrough 2, which I just created, and I'm going to tell it to show the camera. And if you don't have this right away, if you don't have the edit walkthrough button up here, you'll have to highlight the walkthrough and then go up here to the button. And this gives you the ability to edit it. And pardon me. Uh, the initial setting, or the initial uh, editing capability that you have here, is being able to e edit the active camera. There's another one down here called uh, editing the path, and we'll cover that here in a minute. So with the camera, what I want to do, and this is kind of tricky, you have to take that camera in order to uh, make a modification of the camera, what you want the camera to do in certain locations, is you need to be able to move, you need to take that camera and actually move it back to each one of those orange square or orange dots. And if you goof it up and click on a dot itself without moving the camera, and you have to do that with your left mouse button depressed, it says do you want to uh, quit editing the walkthrough, and you know, you don't want to necessarily. And you can't just click on a, on a dot here, yeah, there, nor can you click off to the side. You're going to continue getting that dialog box. And I think other than trying to train a puppy to be house trained, uh, this gets pretty frustrating. You know, seeing that dialog box coming up all the time, you'll see it a dozen times or more while you're trying to learn how to do a walkthrough. But if you follow these simple steps, you can minimize that and actually make this a fairly smooth transition. So the only way that this camera can move is along the path and you need to stop on that path right on one of the orange dots and oh, there it goes okay what I like to do with these uh, with the camera positions while I'm here and uh, the ability to edit it is as I'm going down my path here I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm looking at certain things so perhaps when I'm on my path here I'm going to make sure that as, uh, as I'm going down the driveway I'm going to be looking at the garage as I'm going down there so I'm going to go ahead and move this around move my camera up and every position I go over here, I'm going to be looking at uh, at the garage door, as I should say. Well, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to look at the, the entryway door there, right on the garage door itself. And as I round the corner here, there's the anticipation here. I'm going to be looking at the stairs. So I'm going to point myself up the stairs. Still keep that, maintain, uh, maintain that. And as I go around the corner, it's going to be a sharp corner there. I'm going to continue looking up the stairs, drag my camera up here, and as I'm getting towards the top of the stairs, maybe I'm going to start looking at the front door. So you get over here, yes, I'm looking at the front door over here, I'm going to alter that just a little bit, and then when we get to this final dot, I'm going to alter that too, and make that look square on. So, no, no, I don't want to quit editing the walkthrough, but what I want to do is go to the next uh, portion of this and alter my path. And, nope, oh, went back to the active camera again. So you need to make sure you click out here. Oh, and if you do that, it asks you if you want to quit, and the answer is no. But you have to click out here if you want to move your middle mouse button in order to scroll back and forth. Unlike the camera, the active camera position, the path positions, you can just click on these uh, buttons and move these around. I'm going to move this one so it's a little bit after that one, so I have a nice even flow. One thing to keep in mind about these positions here is that the closer they are together, the slower the camera is going to go, because there's a cert set amount of time between it goes between one point and another. So if you set your camera positions far, far away from each other, it's not going to take very much time to go uh, down that path, so it's going to go pretty quick. When you're putting your walkthroughs together, you want to make sure that uh, you have a nice, uh, nice walking speed as you're going through this. And uh, you want to make sure that you're not rushing through, or you don't want to make you want to make sure you're also not going too darn slow. So if you like the path, and I think I'll move that one down a little bit so it's sitting on the landing, and I think we're all set to go. In the next film, I'll show you how to make modifications to it on the vertical.